Smell. Well, the company that could be to blame for Florida's botched unemployment system is now in line to receive another major state contract. Deloitte Consulting raised more than a few eyebrows when it beat out four other companies for a $110 million job to update the state's Medicaid program. Eight on your side, investigative reporter Victoria Price joining us live in Tampa to explain the backlash from that. Well, Keith, that is because Deloitte is not just under scrutiny, it's also under investigation to determine if it played any role in those unemployment failures. And now some state lawmakers, they're asking to pump the brakes until the findings of that report can be released. People are, are mad and, and rightly so. State Rep Anna Escamani has spent the last five months grappling with the fallout from Florida's broken unemployment system. Aid on Your Side has two. Months into the pandemic, complaints over system failures continue. But despite an ongoing investigation into the $78 million program the governor himself called a jalopy, its creator is about to land another multi million dollar deal. There's a reason why the public continues to not trust government, to not trust politicians. I think this is one example of it. Earlier this week, the state's Agency for Healthcare Administration awarded Deloitte Consulting a $110 million contract for upgrades to Florida's Medicaid program. Some state lawmakers now demanding a freeze on negotiations until the Chief Inspector General concludes her investigation. My concern is if we if we continue with this contract, with this new contract with Deloitte, find out that Deloitte was a reason for the broken unemployment system, then what do you do? Deloitte is also the subject of a pending class action lawsuit from laid off workers who claim the faulty system wrongfully denied them unemployment benefits. And earlier this year, at least three other states with Deloitte built systems suffered data breaches that compromised personal information. Deloitte has a very powerful lobby in Tallahassee. Do you think that there's something more nefarious at play for the firm continuing to receive these huge contracts? No doubt in my mind that politics does play a role, which is unfortunate. But Governor Ron DeSantis adamantly denies any politics or impropriety. His office sending us this statement that reads in part, while we cannot undo the nonpartisan and apolitical manner in which the contract was awarded, Governor DeSantis will hold the contracting party accountable for every obligation and benchmark under the contract. Deloitte did not return my request for comment, and ACA declined to comment, citing a 72-hour blackout period following the announcement of a winning bid. Keith? Victoria, any timeline on the investigation? Right. That's such an important question, because if it comes out in a few weeks, it's not a huge time to delay. But if it's going to be a few months, that would be a really long period to hold up these negotiations. Unfortunately, I did reach out to the governor's office. I did reach out to the inspector general's office, and they cannot comment on the investigation because it is still an active investigation. All right. Thank you, Victoria. If you have something you